And finally, family members, former and current golfers and political dignitaries such as Andrew Mlangani converged at the Soweto Country Club to pay tribute to the late Vincent Shabalala. Shabalala, who won the 1976 European Tours French Open, passed away on Saturday after a short illness. A giant of South African golf has fallen, however, his legacy will continue to touch the lives of many for years to come. That was a common theme during Vincent Chabalala's memorial service in Soweto. Apart from being an exceptional golfer, Chabalala's colleagues have come to know him as somebody who embodied the hopes and dreams of black golfers in the country. He was very much in, you know, in influential in getting us the, these golfers that we got, because we got it in 1974. So he's the one who went to negotiate with Mr. Gornov and they agreed that Mr. Gornov gave us this land and we started the golf. It was through his contributions that we've got the golf course today. Justice Machaya, the spokesperson of the Soweto Country Club, has called on former black golfers to carry on with the Shabalala's legacy. This, he believes, can be achieved through a golfing endeavor and mentorship programs. You need to have those former golfers. To come and train these kids because they've been there, they've seen it, they've done it. You, you get my point? And uh, it shouldn't be only 90 kids. We are talking so to how, how broad so to is. We can't cover so it with five coaches. Vincent Chabalala, who was 75 at the time of passing, will be laid to rest at the Avalon Cemetery in Soweto on Saturday, 10 June. Joseph Muhali, SABC News, Soweto.